Every time I'm in the street, I hear yak, 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 yak. Men down. Hey guys, so there is a couple things I wanted to apologize in advance for. If you hear any kind of noise, it sounds like a motor coming from outside. My dad's mowing the lawn and my window is literally right here, so sorry if you hear that. Also, um, I feel like I've worn a top knot in a bunch of my last videos because I just don't know what to do with my hair anymore. And then I put on this hair wrap because my hair was just looking gross. And also, I'm sunburned, so if you can see that, it's just like a bunch of weird, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. I guess I'm just apologizing for my hair slash appearance in general. And yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video. So today I'm doing the sixth and the last video in my back to school series. And that is my what I keep in my school makeup bag video. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what is inside of this. And this little pouch thing is from Target. And it's from the Trina line. It says Trina on the little zipper here. And it's just a floral pattern. It looks like this. And so yeah, I figured you guys would want to see what's in here. So let's go ahead and see what I keep in here. So the first thing that I like to keep in here is just a mini hairbrush. And this is the Big Mini. And it's from Luxure Pro. Fun fact about this hairbrush. Okay, this is kind of gross, but not really. So when we were in New York for New York I'm at, someone left this in our hotel room and it was sitting there for multiple days and I thought it was somebody in the rooms, so it just like stayed in there. And then I asked everybody in the room and they were like, I don't know whose hairbrush that is, it's like a small one. And I was like, hey, I could keep this in my makeup bag, so I just took it. And I think it might be one of our friends, well it's definitely one of our friends, whoever was in the room. So if you're watching this and this is yours, I stole it. So if you ever see me and you want it back, I'll give it to you. But yeah, I stole it, so. I just keep this in here in case I wanna like change my hairstyle throughout the day or if I'm like wearing like a top knot and it's getting bumpy, I can brush through it or just brush through my hair if it's straight or something. This is always good to keep in your bag just for hair brushing reasons. Next is something that is very important and it is hand sanitizer. I have this little hangy thing on it um, so I can hang it off of things, but it's my mini Purell and there's nothing really special about this, but it comes in handy, especially at school because there's a bunch of gross germs flying around and I like to use this before I eat lunch, before I touch my face, if I'm doing, if I'm like retouching my makeup or anything like that. Definitely, definitely have this in your school makeup bag because it's going to be very nice and they also have them at Bath and Body Works if you want like a better smell than just the regular Purell but any kind of hand sanitizer will work. Next is my like most used item in my makeup bag and I'm so glad that I keep them in here and it's my Clean and Clear oil absorbing sheets. These are my lifesavers. Oh, they're so good. They're blotting papers and so you just blot the oil off of your face. It doesn't take off your makeup. I used to be scared of oil blotting sheets because I thought that it was gonna rub off all of my makeup but these do not do that and I love these ones and they look like this. They're just like blue little sheet things and you take them out and then you just dab them on your t-zone area because that's where I get oily or you can just dab them anywhere that you're getting oily I don't know but these are definitely great to have in your purse because when you have them at hand you can just go to the bathroom and be like wow I'm looking a bit, a bit shiny and then just dab it away and you can get these at Walgreens online at Target any really drugstore ish type place and these will be yeah at hand and so these are probably like my most used thing. I probably use like three of these a day which is kind of gross but that's how oily my skin gets especially at school since I'm there for like seven to eight hours. Next I have my second most used thing and this is my shine control powder. This is from Neutrogena. It's just the Neutrogena shine control powder. That is what it's called. Um, I already hit pan on this one. I need to get a new one pretty soon. But this is a universal shade and so it matches everybody. It's like invisible on your face and I love this so much. It's my lifesaver like those oil absorbing papers are because after I use those if I'm still looking a little bit shinier I just want to stay matte I'll just apply it again and what I use it with is just this mini kabuki brush it's a bit dirty right now but I'm cleaning all of my brushes tonight so don't yell at me but um yeah I'll keep this in here and this in here and I'll just be like swirl 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 rub it on my t-zone around my face and whatnot I like this a lot you guys know that I like this a lot I've been using this for like about a year I want to say now and I just absolutely love it I wouldn't use anything else and if you're looking for a very 
good powder to help you stay matte, this is your guy. And once again, you can get this at any drugstore. It's Neutrogena, so just look in your drugstore places for it. And this little brush, I think I got it Ulta. I'm pretty sure I got it for Christmas, but I think it was from Ulta, maybe Sephora. But you can find like mini travel size brushes like these at Ulta, Sephora, any place like that. Next, I have my current concealer, which is the Maybelline New York instant age rewind eraser and it's for like dark spot treatments and so dark spots do include like scarring and zits and stuff like that it's not for under eye circles there's two different ones of these so get this one if you're looking for like a regular like dotting concealer because there's an eye one and then there's a regular one and so i got this one i got this at walgreens i had it in my last drugstore haul and i love it so much it's so blendable it's so easy and so i love bringing this to school because you can just like dab it on and then like kind of just blend it away with your finger. Concealer is definitely a must to have in your makeup bag. Next I just have a hair tie and a bobby pin if I ever want to like switch up my hairstyle or if I just need to put my hair up I have this at hand and these two work well for that. Next I have a roll-on perfume in case I get a little bit smelly and this is really small and portable so it's like basically not even there. You can just shove this anywhere in your makeup bag and it's really easy to have at hand. And this is the Taylor Swift Wonderstruck little roll-on thing and whenever I put this on I just go do 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 and rub it in and then I go do 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 and then you smell really good for the rest of the day. And this is really long wearing and if you ever forget to like put on a scent or something or you just smell bad at school or really anywhere you have this to smell you back up to being a lady. And then the last and final thing that I have is just my Burt's Bees chapstick because who wouldn't need chapstick in your makeup bag? Chapstick is like my best friend. Burt's Bees is my lover. So that is everything that is in here. It's kind of dirty on the inside because I've had this for so long. But yeah, that's everything that I keep in my makeup bag at school. And this was a super quick video, I would think. Give this video a thumbs up if you have any of these things in your makeup bag at school. Maybe you can add some stuff in there if you're like, hey, I should have that on hand at school. Or maybe you just enjoyed watching this video in general. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, so there's a couple things I wanted to impul at Target, any really like draw any really drugstore-ish. And now I have my second most used thing, which is my And next I have my and next I have my second most used Oh my god, that would have been so bad it would have shattered everywhere. And you can shove you can like shove this anywhere into your purse. And so it just yeah. You can like shove this anywhere in your makeup bag. <coughs> you can like shove that. You can just shove this anywhere in your makeup bag. Next, I have my current concealer, and that is the. Dear Daddy, I ain't see you in some minutes. Think I got a new hobby, put on my life inside a sentence. I done made some bad decisions, but I always make repentance. And I get my mail to angels, so I know they gotta get it. I done got into a gang. I done got into some.